so I am headed to get my hair done and I'm so excited for it. It's like the pick me up that I need. It's been six weeks since I've been able to put any weight on my right foot and I'm like going crazy and I have another two weeks to go. So I'm really looking forward to my appointment. I haven't worn makeup in about two weeks. So this is what I'm gonna put on my face. Pretty simple, but I figured I would show you. Um, this is the Hourglass um, Skin Tint and I really, really like it. I'm gonna use Don't Mind My Nails. I'm getting them done tomorrow. I've like peeled my shellac off. This is the Bare Minerals Liquid Lipstick and Slay. I love it. This is the Tarte Smolder Eyes. It's in the color, I think, Golden Beige. It's just like this pretty champagne color. I don't know why you're not focusing. It's annoying me. Um, and then I use, I always use this on my brows. This is the Anastasia Brow Definer. I'm going to do NARS Orgasm as my blush. I'm going to conceal with the NARS Creamy Concealer, which I love. And then this is ColourPop Prickly Pear. I wore it in my last video. I really like it, the color. It's so pretty and it like stays on all day. And then obviously Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer because it's my favorite bronzer ever. I just got back from my hair appointment and I am living for this color. I love it. It's like the perfect, not too ashy, not too yellow blonde. My bun is so obnoxious right now, but I don't even care. So I think I did record a clip yesterday. I went and I got my hair done yesterday and I usually like, obviously I have a girl that I consistently go to in Seattle, but when I'm home, I go to my friend Nicole. You know all those hair Instagrams? Well, Hair by Chrissy, that one in, I think she's in Arizona. She always has very good like ashy blonde results is that the word i'm looking for anyways so i was going through her instagram and sometimes she'll post the formulas and so i talked to my friend and i've always wanted to try like a goldwell toner because i've heard really good things about them and so she got me the goldwell colorance 10p which is 10 pearl and i feel like it like made me um like i don't want to be too ashy where it, you're like um is your hair like granny gray or is it green because ash can like pull green so I feel like it's like kind of like the perfect there if I get a little bit closer you can see it a little better but yeah I really really like what she did so yeah it was like the perfect like pick-me-up that I needed honestly I have been probably the last two weeks in January and then up until a few days ago like I have been in such a funk and I think it's obviously related to the fact that it's been six weeks now that I've been able to walk and put weight on my right foot and that I don't know like doing nothing every single day is like really getting to me especially when I'm used to Archie what are you doing he's like itching himself um, especially when I'm like used to going to work and all of that stuff so from going from that to like literally sitting and watching TV all day or YouTube or just reading like that's literally what I do every single day I wake up at 7 30 in the morning I have a cup of coffee with my mom we watch like all the morning news shows and then by the time 9 p.m. comes around you guys I'm so bored I've been to the end of the internet I'm like screw it like I'm gonna go to bed because I have nothing better to do so yeah it's just that the constant like doing nothing for the past six weeks has really kind of gotten to me but my calendar is like super empty but I went through and all the pink it says um like five weeks six weeks seven weeks eight weeks so once i hit the six week mark on the eighth i was like okay i have two more weeks in a cast like i can do this there's light at the end of the tunnel i booked my flight back to seattle today so i'm leaving on march 1st and so i don't know it just like gives me something to look forward to like <laughs> hanging out with my parents has been great and all but I'm like so ready to get back into a routine and I'm gonna be going back to work on the 6th which I'm kind of nervous about because I obviously haven't walked for eight weeks so between 
getting my cast off on the 23rd and the 6th like I'm really gonna have to like rehab myself other than that like I haven't really wanted to vlog because I'm like okay I don't do anything like I don't want to bore them like crazy at least like when I'm in Seattle I can just like plop my camera on my dashboard and like go places and or like show you things I like don't have anything to show you here I don't even I didn't even bring like a lot of makeup home with me so I feel like I can't really even do like that many videos so yeah that's kind of where I'm at right now Yesterday was the first time in over two weeks that I put makeup on <laughs> and it's so funny when you like don't wear makeup for a couple of weeks and you like finally put makeup on and you realize like oh my god this makes such a difference. I like looked in the mirror and I'm like oh shit who dis? I did go to the store with my mom today and P.S. if anybody has ever been on a knee scooter because they can't walk um people at the store like eat that shit up and i don't know if it's because it's like something that they can strike up conversation with you and be like oh like what happened to you like that kind of thing but i literally went to the grocery store with my mom and five people came up and talked to me a few weeks ago one guy even came up to me like this old man and he gave me candy he told me that it, it would make me glide better and i was like god should i really be taking candy from a stranger <laughs> Today when my mom and I went to the grocery store, I got some new hair ties because when I came from Seattle, I only brought one hair tie, which is so weird because usually I have a ton in like my travel makeup bag. I just like stuff them with it. But this is my hair tie and it's like, maybe you can sit there. It's like so stretched out for me. So I was like, I finally, like I really need to get some new hair ties. So I got these. These are like kind of cute. They are goodie and they're metallic. It's kind of nice because they have like a little bit, is this going to focus or not? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I can't tell if it is or not. I think it is now. Um, they have like a little bit of like a um, grip on them. Also P.S. I have my window open just like last time because my tripod like fits there. So it's like super windy out. So if you hear wind, I'm sorry. And then I just got these little mini elastic ones for when I do like my half up in the hack there we go like my half up half down you know what I'm you know what I'm saying I've done a lot of watching YouTube lately obviously because I've been so late up so a couple weeks ago um Allie you guys know Allie sub Dallas probably I'll put her link below if you don't if you aren't subscribed to her but she like was on this kick of watching Lula Row videos and then I was like oh my god what are you, like what are you talking about she's like linked me to this woman and her YouTube video was like it was so funny kind of like weird she was like it was like a as Ali said it was like a Blair Witch project but like this woman talking about her LuLaRoe business and it was kind of funny because she was a little interesting she was saying that the clothes like speak to her like it was a very bizarre so then I obviously when you watch a video on YouTube like it just kind of it can take you down the rabbit hole because all of a sudden all your suggested videos will be LuLaRoe so I like watched all these LuLaRoe videos and I if you're a LuLaRoe fan like okay but <laughs> To me, it's like kind of cult-ish, especially when I learned about how they do like all the Facebook groups and I don't know, it just seems like very bizarre to me. And honestly, like my cousin wore LuLaRoe leggings to Christmas dinner and I was like, oh, or she, I think she wore, it was like a tacky ass print that she wore. Love you, Sarah, if you're watching this, but they were ugly. So yeah and I was expecting them to be like nice quality and I was like okay like let me feel your leggings and I felt them and they were like so thin I'm like I would not spend $30 or whatever the hell they are um for these super thin leggings like they don't even feel like they suck anything in and so yeah I went down the LuLaRoe rabbit hole so let me know if you like sell it or what you think of the whole thing because after watching those videos I was like okay this is like so bizarre I don't understand when they do the sales like on Facebook you can only like buy stuff at certain times and I don't know it just doesn't really make sense to me if you're a business and like you want to sell stuff like when you like post something and then once it's sold it's like 
okay, it's sold. Not like I'm gonna sell these this pair of pants from two to four, and if nobody buys them, then I'm gonna like close the Facebook album. I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. I will actually, there's a video of this girl um, talking about LuLaRoe, and I'll link her video down below because she has some very insightful things to say about it. And what else have I been watching? LuLaRoe and oh my god there's some other videos that i've been watching and i can't no let me go to my youtube right now oh oh my god <laughs> so the other videos i don't know this must have i think somebody in my subscription box had one of these videos and then i was like oh my god this exists and then i started watching it ulta dumpster diving like i didn't know that that was a thing and I started watching these videos and apparently this is something that people actually like do for a living so basically Ulta is technically I think supposed to destroy the products like let's say I went and I bought you know like this Too Faced um, chocolate soleil bronzer and I got home and I you know used it and I'm like okay I don't like this I'm gonna take it back so they have like their return bins and they're apparently they're supposed to technically destroy everything and then put it in the dumpster but some places they don't destroy it so like this would be this is like obviously ratchet because I've used so much of it but like this full bronzer would just go in the dumpster so people literally go and dumpster dive at Ulta and they will get thousands of dollars worth of products. Some of the stuff is so brand new and some of it I'm like, eh, I would just like, I would just throw that away. So if you're bored, go and watch some Ulta dumpster diving videos because honestly, it's kind of fascinating. This is literally Bentley's favorite sleeping position. He loves sleeping on his back. It's so funny. He looks so cozy. Are you sleeping? He might be sleeping with his eyes open. Bentley, he cracks me up. All right, so I wanna share with you my favorite leggings ever. I got these in the mail, but I have a cast on, so I can't get them over my cast yet. So I haven't even like taken them out of their package yet, but I own the crops in these and I love them. I'm very, I don't know, like two or three years ago, I bought a ton of Lululemon stuff, but I just feel like once they started becoming a cult, like <laughs> their quality definitely deteriorated. I do, I have better luck with the Zella at Nordstrom, but I do own these pants in the crop version and they um, have never pilled or anything, which is pretty impressive. So they are the Wonder Under pant in high rise and I love high rise leggings because they just suck everything in. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. I feel like Okay, so as you can see, they have these like mesh inserts and I think they are so chic. They kind of um, remind me of like my Aloe Moto leggings that I think I've showed in a video before. And they're like the kind of leggings that you can like put on a pair of heels and wear these leggings or you can just pretend to go to the gym in them like I do. I don't really care for the navy, but as you can see, all the mesh cutouts. I've never had an issue with like the mesh getting holes in it or anything. So yeah, I will link them below for you. I can't wait to wear mine. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's the best day ever. My subscriber, Charlotte, sent me the cutest little package ever. I'm so excited to open it and I figured I would open it on camera and then just like include it in my vlog. Yeah, I have no idea what's in here. And girl, holy cow girl, you spent so much money on the freaking postage. I swear, USPS is like such a rip off. Is there anything in here? No, there's not. Okay, I wasn't sure if there was anything in there. Oh, this is just so nice of her. A cute little card. Let's see what it says. Oh, she's so nice. Look at this, you guys. I am like, I don't know where she got this stationery, but I love it. Okay, she says, get well soon. Hi, Megan. Just wanted to send along a little care package to cheer you up on your recovery. These are some of my faves. I hope they work as well for you as your recs always do for me. 
And <laughs> she wrote XOXO Charlotte. P.S. This Lisa Frank stationery is making me feel like a 10 year old and I love it. Oh my God. I love that too. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Oh, fun. Oh my gosh. What is this? Yes. Oh my God. This totally goes with what I was talking, my hair video that I just put up. Um, people, somebody said something about hair, skin and nails and pre- prenatals so I'm excited to try these I've always seen them but I've never picked them up so okay you two gummies nature's bounty these vitamins have helped my hair a ton sometimes the flavor is kind of grossly strong though let's try it I think they're strawberry I love strawberry so do you guys remember the Flintstone vitamins like back in the day those were like my jam all right I guess you take I haven't read the instructions yet but I guess you take two. I think they taste good. I kind of like that like artificial um, strawberry candy flavor. Damn, I can't wait to try those. Let's see what else. All time favorite face wipes and they're from Trader Joe's. Oh, perfect. I shop there all the time. I've never tried their uh, any of their bath products. I heard they have a really good uh, exfoliating scrub and these are the micellar cleanser wipes they feel like they're really nice and moist I'm gonna try those tonight oh she sent me a lip smackers yes I feel like I've been complaining in my vlog about my lips being dry Ooh, sugar cookie I love though in there um like uh not candy flavored but like baked good flavored because I feel like they curb my appetite in this one sugar cookie Let's see, what is this? Premium snail hydrogen face mask. <laughs> as long as the snail thing doesn't weird you out, this mask is a maze. Oh, this is one of the Tony Moly masks. I've also never tried one of their masks, so I'm excited about this. And this snail thing, okay, so one of my favorite, what is it? It's the CC Illuminating Cream by It Cosmetics. Like the first ingredient is like snail secretion. And my friend, like, sent me a screenshot of it. And then I would, like, I have kind of freaked out about it. I'm like, ew, that's gross. And then I Googled snail secretion, and they're like, okay, snail secretion is in, in like, every beauty product ever. I'm going to give this a go. I'm, I'm going to save this and, like, do it on camera one of these nights. Target dupe for the anthropology candle. Yes! Island Moonlight. Check it out. Uh, let's see. Sandalwood, Valencia, Orange, and Ruby Cassis. Is that how you say that? This candle is so pretty. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like... Kind of like I should be sitting on a beach. And that's exactly what I should be doing. I and one more thing... Bedhead Dumb Blonde Toning Protection Spray. Oh, cool. So I'm assuming this must have a purple tint that you put in your hair, and she's a blonde, so she knows what's up for us blondies. Um, she said it's like a purple shampoo plus heat spray in one need. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at these freaking... Please don't look at my nails right now. They are ratchet. Um, but look at this little princess blonde emoji sticker. I love that. I wonder where she got the stickers. I'm gonna have to ask her. Oh my gosh, Charlotte, thank you so much. This is so nice. This seriously like made my day. I have to go message you on Instagram and thank you for all of this. What? How thoughtful, like especially to put all the notes in there. That is like so freaking nice. So thank you so much, girl. And I will definitely report back to everybody on these products because you know I am gonna go and use them.